Charles Darwin once said, the love for all living creatures is the most noble attribute of man. And while it's easy for most people to love these beautiful creatures, their next door neighbors at the Butterfly House in St. Louis usually elicit a different emotion. They freaked me out. <laughs> yep, that's the reaction most people have to cockroaches. Just because when I lived in the South, they were always, they were in my garage. Mary Schloss has since moved to New York, but she carried that cockroach contempt with her. That is until her best friend Andrea gifted her a certain video dedication. Mary, allow us to introduce you to one of our residents. This is an orange head roach from Central America. And as Andrea requested on your behalf, we have named this particular roach Waylon. And it was my ex-husband's name given to a cockroach. And I literally like bent down because I was laughing so hard. Besides cracking her up, the video had another somewhat surprising effect. I like this one. So what was it in your video that changed your mind a little bit about cockroaches? Do you remember? Actually the information, how like they take care of each other. When he finds a particularly juicy slice of orange or apple, he doesn't hoard it for himself. He makes sure others get to share in the bounty. And they provide for each other and for the environment, so. Mission accomplished for Butterfly House entomologist, Chris Hartley. Absolutely, I think they get a bad rap. They are used as the icky bug way too often. Who works with a team to make these cockroach dedications. But we at the Butterfly House try to encourage every person on our planet, really, to at least think of them as being important to the planet. They're decomposers, they enrich the soil, they get rid of trash, by which I mean fallen leaves and rotting wood and things like that. And that's a crucial function for our environment that we really can't survive without. As nature's trashmen, of the more than 4,000 species of cockroach on the planet, most of them want to be outside. So like our friends, the orange head cockroaches over here, even in Central America, where they're native, they don't move into people's houses. That's just not what they're looking to do. While we're breaking down roach rumors, here are a few more. Cockroaches could live through a nuclear explosion. No, they could not survive the, the detonation of a nuclear weapon, no. But they do have more resistance to the radiation that would be lingering afterwards than the human does. Cockroaches can attack humans. They don't have a stinger, they don't have any chemicals, like they can't squirt acid in my hand or anything crazy like that. Cockroaches have been around since the time of dinosaurs. Well, that one's fiction because they've been around longer than that. They were on this earth before the dinosaurs came to be. For hundreds of millions of years, they've been around doing what modern day roaches do, which is decomposing things and cleaning up the environment. And they've pretty much, you'd recognize it as a cockroach. It looks like today's cockroaches. Here's something else that's kind of crazy. They breathe through holes on the side of their body called spiracles. But the spiracles are these holes right here. Every segment of the body has a pair of them. So even if the head was gone, they could still take in air. You heard right. A cockroach can live for several days without its head. Also, even though it's an insect, it gives birth, sort of. So cockroaches have eggs, just like all insects do. However, the hissing cockroach and the orange head cockroaches and certain others grow the eggs inside their bodies. So live babies are eventually born when the mother gives birth. So it very much looks like she has live birth. Biologically, they're eggs that hatched inside the mom and she just gave birth. It's called ovovivipary, if you want to add a science word. Finally, cockroaches are actually meat freaks. In fact, anytime they've been through a dirty place, they stop and they actually wash their hands for their feet. They wash their antennae. They clean themselves very thoroughly. So if you handle a cockroach and spend a long time with it in your hand, when you put it down, it will immediately clean itself to get the human smell off. Watch them bathe themselves, which is super cute. Uh, cute? I think the thing that is my favorite about cockroaches are to know that some are very pretty. Pretty? That's not exactly how Mary, or most people, would describe a cockroach. Fine. 
there's my cockroach. You did get big. You look bigger. But thanks to her new friend, Waylon the cockroach, she does have a newfound respect for the insect. It was the best gift.